Hello and welcome to the Scrapbook Pals YouTube channel. My name is Terry and today I will be sharing a card that I created using some products from the shop. So let's get started. Okay, so here is a close-up look at the two products that I'll be using today. They're both from Spellbinders and one is called the Blooming Ornament. This is a hot foil plate and die set. And I'm also using another hot foil plate and die set called Glitter Wishes. Okay, so I have my Glimmer hot foil system here and it's all heated up. So what I did was I applied the hot foil plates on top and I went ahead and added on my foil. Now going in with a white cardstock, I placed that on top of everything. Now going in, I created the sandwich for the Glimmer Hot Foil System. With every die cutting machine is a little different. The one that I'm using is the Big Shot from Sizzik. Okay, so this part, I was supposed to push the timer on before putting the plates on top, but I forgot. So I pushed the timer on afterwards and it actually came out okay. It, it didn't overfoil too much. And if it did overfoil, a nice trick that I found is using a sand eraser, you can actually erase the overfoiling part off. You will see later in this video that I had to do that on a few parts. Okay, so now I went ahead and removed the foil. As you can see, there's a little bit of overfoiling here. So I went ahead and removed the hot foil ornaments off, and now I'm going in with the sentiments. The set here has so many sentiments to choose from, and I thought that I'll just kind of foil a few of it, just to have it on hand. I think that's great to have a bunch of sentiments sitting around, so when you do need to use it, you can just grab one and it'll be accessible. What I like about this sentiment set is that it comes with the rectangle sentiment die. So that rectangle die actually works with all of the sentiments in the set. So that is nice. Okay, so after the sentiments are on the hot foiling system, I went ahead and laid down the foil on top of each section of the sentiments. And again, I forgot to push the timer button, but you'll see that there's a little mistake on the cardstock, but that's fine because I have a whole bunch of sentiments to choose from. I guess that's the best part, right, about creating a whole bunch of sentiments at once. Even if you create a little mistake here and there, you'll have a lot of other ones to choose from. And once the green light was ready, I went ahead and removed it from the platform and ran it through my die cutting machine. And here I'm just placing it back on the platform just so it could heat up again. So now going in and removing all the plates in the shim, I went ahead and removed the foil on top of the cardstock. And you could see here the red foils didn't foil very well. So what I did was I tried to use my sand eraser and I went around all of the areas that overfoil. But that one particular sentiment here off to the upper left, I there was no way for me to save that. So I just kind of kind of sucked it up and said, hey, I guess you're not gonna make it onto a cord. I mean, with the whole crafting thing, right? You don't wanna be afraid of making mistakes. And sometimes I get a little intimidated with new things like the hot foil machine. I had this machine forever and I have never really played with it. So as you can see all my little mistakes on this video, um, was so great, but I felt like the card came out really well. Okay, so I decided to go in with my Copic markers and I went in with a few shades to color in the ornaments and the ribbon. I didn't really do anything too fancy with the blending, I just kept it pretty simple. So I went in with two shades of green, two shades of red, and also two shades of yellow for the ornaments. I didn't add too much shading on this ornament because I didn't want to take away from the foiling. The foiling is the star of this card and it looks amazing in real life. The lights just hits it really nicely. Okay, so with the bow, I just kept it simple and just kept it in the red color. Okay, so now that the coloring is finished, I went ahead and used the coordinating dies and ran that through my die cutting machine. Here you can see that I'm using the sentiment die that came along with the sentiments and it cuts it out perfectly. All that I had to do was just trim down the sides. Okay, so here I'm just playing around with the pieces, trying to figure out a layout on my card panel. 
I really like the bow and the ornament together, but in the final card, I decided to only use the ornament alone. So before going in and putting everything together, I wanted to create my background scene. So here I'm going in with a background dye. This one is from Lawn Fawn. I will link everything down below in the description if you're interested. So I went ahead and die cut that out of white cardstock and I also trimmed down a red piece of cardstock slightly larger than that white panel. Now going in with the foil die cuts, I am trying to figure out a placement on my card panel and once I was happy with the placement, I went ahead and adhered down the ornament with foam squares and layered the sentiment on top of the ornament with liquid adhesive. Now going in with some embellishment, I placed that throughout the card panel. Okay, and that completes the card. I hope you found some inspiration in this video. I know there was a lot going on. And please don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And I would love it if you came on over to my channel at Cloudy Coral Designs. Okay, until next time, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.